Hi there, welcome once again to the Ghana Football App, where we are bringing you all the exclusives from the camp of the Black Stars in Doha. Two days ago, one of the sensational players of the team joined. And today, um, we are going to talk away from football. It's not going to be like, how many goals have you scored? How do you assess the season? Who is your best player? And all those things. No, it's not going to be like that today. For today, we are going to talk away from football. How life goes on without football. My guest uh, today is Edmond Addo. He plays for Sheriff Terraspo. Uh, for those of you who have been watching the Champions League a lot, you, 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 you know him. He played against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu, and that was when a lot of Ghanaians got to know that there is a Ghanaian playing for Sheriff uh, Terraspo. Uh, Eddie? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. That is I? I'm here, I'm here. Alhamdulillah. Um, the season is almost over. At least you are coming home. When the season is over like that, you know, what are some of the things that you do? Because throughout the season, you'll be training, you'll be playing football, traveling, and all those things. Season to call for Charlie, how do you do to cool off? Okay, just, we just stay home with friends. Kazasa Bema, Kazasa Bema. <laughs> <laughs> we just go home, like, to see family, to chill, go to the beach. Like, you enjoy your life at normal, you know, beside football. Before you hit top, you know, into football, because I recall interviewing you once and then you told me how you became a footballer, the struggles that you went through and all those things. Yeah. Tell us, what were you doing apart from, you know, playing football? Because you cannot play football for the whole day. The, yeah. You go and do something, you finish, you come back to football, you come and train and play matches, you go back to it. What were you doing? Oh, I'm just with, with like I tell you, with my friends. We play like video games. Uh, we have something called Corona. Like we we play Konami. Okay. Yeah, like those kind of cha cha thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that is what we do. And sometimes I go also somewhere with friends, like to buy something. Like it's just outing stuff, but not something really. Good. Do you like swimming? I'm not that good. You're not that good, so you, you, fear, you, fear, you fear seeing the atmosphere of the water. <laughs> yeah, I don't go that far. Maybe just a little bit like here. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, well, but to me, not that much. Well, first time I wear ice bath, uh, how did you feel? <laughs> yeah, terrible. <laughs> Tell us the experience. <laughs> yeah, terrible, because I'm in here with that. First time. Coach, it be our whole like, it be our push, say, me, me, go inside. I don't mean to be crabby to me, Chet. 30 seconds, you know. Now we're joining. But, Cecilia, you are used yeah, to it. Cecilia, okay. Cecilia, to me, she's inside five minutes, like seven minutes. Um, How important is that? Yeah, to release after, like, running, you know, muscles, like, to calm you down. Mm. Yeah. After no I had this work, Obomach, yeah. we are, what do you love doing? Massage, ice bath. No, Which ice. one? You go for the ice. I go for the ice, yeah, because it's really good. For oh, okay. The so, after okay. that, then you are okay. You can sleep really good. Which Ghanaian player out there are you so close to? Close. To you know, because you've got a lot of players, but which Ghanaian player like who's the, also playing in one, Europe that you are very, very oh, close no. to? Very, very close to is one guy called Bonso. Okay. Yeah, he plays in Caracas. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's my friend. Always we talk, we chat always. And now I have new new guy in my team called uh, Basit. Yeah, Basit. Yeah. So. Yeah, Basit uh, from Esperance. Esperance, yeah. Who joined, yeah, the striker. Okay. So we are doing away from football. Yeah. So you have to tell us um, what food do you like best? And you will give us a recipe of how that food is prepared because as a footballer I know you are living in Europe uh, sometimes you want to eat local food and you have to prepare it yourself so yeah. tell us the food that you usually prepare and how you do it no I always prefer rice and stew because that is the thing I know how to do that is the cheapest yes <laughs> but, <laughs> but the food I like is like banku with okra soup okay. or tilapia but I, I don't know how to do that but the rice and stew uh, it's okay for me how do you prepare the stew the stew the stew Yes, cut the tomatoes, uh, onion, just 
just this and i put this uh, supplement inside then i'm done you're good to go <laughs> good to go now let's 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 come away um we need to have fun mm -hmm. um who is your most cherished musician uh, in ghana stone boy stone boy yeah sb okay so which of his songs can you sing <laughs> okay i can sing uh, oh wait, wait. <laughs> i have a lot though but not i cannot sing that much oh no any 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 part that you feel like singing you can mm. just dash it out Sankadama putu. <laughs> now let's go. <laughs> okay. Is that, that's Just look straight into the camera and let's go. That's why I can say. Sankadama putu. Hey, Sankadama pata. If I play, I can sing. But if oh, I okay. Play, yeah. Okay. That's, that's okay. Yeah. That's good. When you travel out there, you meet Ghanaian players, you realize that they play a lot of games. They love a lot of music. They go to mm. nightclub. You know, all these things are done to take off tension from them. Are you also a fan of going to nightclub? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not that fan of going to nightclub because normally, okay, I don't know about someone, but I'm talking about myself. I don't drink, so I don't feel like going there. No, yeah. So I just stay. I like to go out with friends, like. We just walk. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. my thing. When the season ends and you are coming home, um, um, what is it that you do, you know, for your friends to see that, oh, Charlie, uh, Edmond is back. Charlie, come, you dash them cash, you, 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 you buy gifts for them, you bring them jerseys and other mm. stuff. Oh, yeah. What I do, what I only do is buy them jerseys. And then, oh, as for money, yeah, like, if you come out, uh, I give. And then I also come <laughs> out. <Yeah, I give. laughs> okay, now, um, I wanted us to do away from football, take you off and, and, mm -hmm. and, and other stuff, but I'll yeah. chip in a little of football. Yeah. You hit on top on the European scene um, when you played against Real Madrid. Yeah. Describe that experience, mm. playing against the best, the best European team or the best club in the world, arguably. Mm. They've won the the Champions League more than any other club. Yeah. They've won the La Liga several times. They've bought all the top, top players in the world before. So if somebody describes them as the best team in the world, it's in the right direction. You played against them and you were super. Tell me the secret. Oh, yeah, I, was, I was really focused because I'm going to play with Real Madrid. And you know, when the small team is going to play with big teams, you need to show something. So I was so focused and I listened to what the coach said. My coach liked me to play two touches. Okay. <laughs> you know, and this is really hard to play two touches. So it means control pass. Yeah, control fully pass. control pass, and it's really hard. But I make it though, so I'm just glad that it happened like that. And 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 gradually your performance seemed to be hitting on top. You know, you played in the Champions League. You keep pushing, and then the color from the Black Stars came. I don't think it was something you were expecting. Yeah. yeah. You were not expecting yeah, it. Yeah, I was not. Because before, when I, I think two years ago in FK Senate, that was my team before coming to Sheriff here. And like some, someone talked to me about Ghana Black Star. I was like, oh, you are pushing hard and you can make it to. But it was not happening that time though. So it is not in my mind when they called me and the team also tell me, oh, no, no, you need to <coughs> calm down. We will talk to them and then after you go. So I think the first one I could not make it, and the second one I make it to the team. And I was so happy to play for Ghana Black Star. You met Milo when you, 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 you played against Inter Milan yeah. uh, in Italy. Milo came there, watched the game after that, he met you. What did he tell you? I, I mean, I did good and he liked to see me in the national team. And I said, okay. You are ready? Yes, I told him I'm ready to play. And he said, okay, then we'll go. Now, Ghana is going to the African Cup of Nations. Uh, I don't know the number of times of head, but um, Ghana has been pushing for 40 years to win the trophy. Yeah. You are fortunate to have been part of the team now going to the African Cup of Nations. What keeps ringing in your head? 
as a Ghanaian player who wants to make history? No, only one thing I can say is we just go there to win. Like we can do something, we can make history. So these are the things in my mind and we focus like, we push hard. Before you left Ghana for Europe, um, is it true that you were selling coconut in Accra? <laughs> no. Oh, there's stories no. all over the place <laughs> that no, 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 no. you were selling I'm not, coconut. I'm not, I'm not selling coconut. I'm like, uh, after training in the beach, then we buy coconut and I'm like holding the, and someone take me picture. And oh, I okay. posted it on Facebook, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so that's why people were yeah, saying people that you were selling like, coconut. Yeah, coconut. Now, by popular request, you are now a professional footballer. Mm. Assuming you did not play football to the highest level to become a professional, what would you have done? A police, a soldier, a teacher, a dancer, a musician? What? No, no. Okay, I, let me say this short thing. Like, three, four years ago, uh, yeah, I think maybe three, four years ago, back then, um, we went to interview for this travel thing uh, after picking, like, some agency. Uh, they pick me and we go for interview. And we are like 13 or 14, I think. And everyone go there for the interview. When it reached my turn and the person was like, oh, we are done. <laughs> and I was like, oh, how? How? Everyone is okay and why me, <laughs> you know? And they were like, oh, nothing. We just end everything here. It's time, then you need to go. So I come out and I call my boss, one of my guys called Don. He take me out always, like, to buy, he said, like, this um, featuring, you know, do yeah. this featuring, yeah. So I was telling him, like, oh, then I wanted to join him because I stopped football. Wow, you were uh, frustrated. Yeah, because, I, because everyone was like, okay, they, like, they interview everyone, and they, I don't know what they give them, but... Like, it, so Don was a mechanic? Mechanic, yeah. Ah, so you wanted to go into that? Go uh, into that. Okay. And it's like, oh, don't worry, everything will be fine. You have to calm down. By that time, I was pissed off, so... So you, 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 you would have been a mechanic, mechanic man. Maybe in Ghana, you blast that bus, no? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting to know. Yeah. But you are from Kolegono, right? Yeah. Tell us about the life there, growing up from Kolegono, and, and, and how, you know, you've been able to rise through the ranks to the top. Tell us yeah. about life in Kolegono. Yeah, life in, life in Kolegono is like street life, like, you know. But you look like a dadaba. Me? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> oh, come on. Minimum. <laughs> 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 no, no. So, I mean, I was like, 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 I I was like, I was like, I was like, I I um, uh, that kind of life, na na it is so, because you say okay, now what what be your If I have, then I give you. Uh, be, be sa, Community eh, life. Yeah, into be a bo be. Obi obi a obi a. And I, you say something I make a chair, no? Like we have something called um, Konami. Like you know, we go there. Who wins get the money? So. So we need now in your scan now. You mean I have a good deal? Okay. Sometimes I wait me a corner in your area in your area. I be sure you understand. This 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 song, your favorite artist certainly is uh, is Stone Boy. Oh, Stone Boy. Um, um, like yes, but by Shatawale too. Yeah, but this song by Shatawale, Colleague on Ninja. Can you sing that song? Kiji Kiji Ninja. Okay. So me turn off the corner. But it's good, you see. <laughs> life in such kind of environment gives you that community life, said the So yeah. it is still in you. Yeah, yeah. So how how is your relationship with the community now? No, really good. Um, like I'm the same, you know, I don't do like I'm different. No, 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 no. I work with them. I still work. Maybe if I can buy something, maybe car. No, no. I'm not ready. Like, I work with them. Okay. I go out with them. Like the same. Okay. I eat with them. You've not taken yourself out no, of no, the community. No, 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 no. You are still with the people. I'm still with them. That's good. 
Yeah, that's good. Have you done your first dance in the Black Stars? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but I hear you are a very good dancer. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not that good. Oh, come on. Yeah. And somebody <laughs> just whispered like... into my, my mind that yeah. you, you my, he, my ear, mm -hmm. that you are a very good gospel singer. You sing uh, very good gospel songs. Yeah, yeah. I tried sometimes. Okay. But you know, like, I'm not that good. But you know, this is video. So when I put, like, I put on like this, I sing the part I can sing, you know. Yeah. Or maybe the, the place that I tried very good, then I cut. Okay. And then I use that part and I put then. Oh, okay. But it doesn't mean like I'm a very good singer. Mm. Yeah. What, do you watch Ghanaian movies? Ghanaian movies, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay, yeah. Who, who is your, like, uh, an actor or an actress that when you see you, I could do many G and all those things. Lewin. Lewin. Lewin, my Okay, so. Ejaku. The Jacko, when he did say, would probably me. I'm talking about time we move now. Okay. Any um, this guy, um, like it, Doctor Like. Oh, okay, okay. Aka Beniza. Aka Beniza. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, so you watch them a lot. Ah, you watch them, them a lot. Like, oh, okay. It's short, skate normal. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Short. And so, can you act, you know, like Lewin in, in in just uh, about five seconds? Mm -hmm. Just act like a Lewin, who is who is the father of the family and giving instructions to his, his kids. Okay. <laughs> now let's 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 try to, to wrap up with our with our convo. Um as a player what is your dream going into the African Cup of Nations and who has inspired you a lot as a footballer in your career? So two questions in one. Your target for the African Cup of Nations and the most inspirational figure in your career. Okay. Now for the African Cup, like, I really want to improve, like, to help the team. Not improve myself, but to help the country and to help everyone. To make it to the top mm. because this is our dream and we need to make it like reality okay. so i just say we are going there to do what we have to do and that's the that's the thing who and inspires you who inspires me a lot is steven up okay because it played the same coast team as me so I do you talk to him sometimes Oh, no, I didn't talk to anyone. Like, I never get the chance to talk to him. But, uh, but he inspires you a chance, lot. Yes. If I get a chance, I'll talk to him. I will let you speak to him. I'll be glad. Will you pay me for that? <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> you're my big boss, so you need to give me something. Even me, Again? even you calling him for me, you need to give me something. Wow, what a shatawali. <laughs> It's been a wonderful <laughs> interview uh, having Ed Bonado. He plays for Sheriff Teraspo, um, one of the top Ghanaian players in Europe currently. And uh, we've seen his exploits in the UEFA Champions League, and uh, he's doing so well as well as in the league. Uh, Edmond, thanks for your time, and okay. we wish ourselves all the best. Mm. But before we go, just do anything, say anything funny, look into the camera and end it with it. You are yeah. going to end today. Say anything funny. Anything, do anything. <laughs> anything. You can speak Ghana, you can speak whatever language, man. <laughs> go, go, go on, go, go on. It's good. I'm loving it. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say. Maybe what you are doing is funny. Maybe, okay. Maybe what you are Maybe doing next is funny. Time, next time, I'll make you, I'll make you like. No problem. Then keep preparing because okay, once okay. you'll be doing a rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Ghana Football app. We are bringing you all the updates from the camp of the Black Stars in Doha. Stick and stay with us. We will bring you more.